We're also on top of another shooting involving police. A St. Pete police officer shot a 17 year old after he said that the teen pulled a gun on him and pointed it at him. Doctors are now trying to save that teen's life. This is the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office second investigation into a shooting involving St. Pete police this year. Why is this happening again? 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo went to find out. This is where Sheriff Gualtieri says this incident all started. This 17 year old in this case was here at Wildwood Park arguing with a 16 year old girl while armed. When police showed up, he ran. These situations don't have to happen. Just, there's an easy solution to the problem. Don't try and shoot a cop. A teenager yet again at the center of a shooting in St. Pete. The sheriff says the teen was hiding from police near a garage when canine officer Layton Williams found him. As soon as he rounded the corner, and he challenged them. The guy reached for the gun. It's either a 45 caliber semi-automatic handgun. The sheriff says Officer Williams shot once and hit the teen in the stomach, sending him to the hospital. The 17 year old now undergoing surgery also wanted for an armed robbery. This past Sunday, uh, the suspect uh, robbed a 10 year old and a 15 year old at gunpoint. Two kids that were robbed by another kid. Gun violence is slowly but surely becoming an epidemic that has gotten out of control. Corey Givens is a community activist and grew up in St. Pete. It's time for us to take some ownership of what's happening in our city. No longer can we say out of sight, out of mind. It's not happening in my city or in my community, so why should I can be concerned? Death is slowly creeping up in our backyard. The city is seeing its deadliest year with 28 people killed by guns so far. Many of the shootings involving young people between 15 to 25 years old. We have to take the onus and decide that I'm not going to let my child become another statistic. Enough is enough and we got to do something about it. Next week, Corey Gibbons is moderating a conversation on gun violence and trauma in St. Pete. Community leaders from both sides of the bay met just a few weeks ago to share strategies to try and stop the violence.